Hey everybody, it's Marilene, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. So, another outdoor video. I'm on a bike ride right now, just taking a break. I do bring samples with me while I bike ride. <laughs> just in case I'm like feeling inspired to film and um, since it's a beautiful day and the birds are singing very loudly today, I decided to uh, do a first impressions video for you guys on a fragrance that I have not tried yet. So this is going to be my very first sniff and my first impressions of the newest fragrance from the House of True Sardi. And this is True Sardi EDP for women, um, released this year. The bottle I'll show later. Actually, I'll do that right now. But uh, I didn't look at the notes, but I do remember one note in here that uh, I did mention this fragrance in one of my new release videos uh, a while ago. So I do remember a note in here, but anyways, okay, now that's not going to show. <laughs> so there's the bottle. Oh, you guys can see it in the thumbnail. Anyways, let's give this one a try. I'll um, spray it here. I love the House of True Sardi, you guys. I've been testing their fragrances um, this past year or half a year or so, and I've just been loving their fragrances. Just affordable, um, underrated, under the radar gem fragrances. So, ooh, okay. So, the note that I remember in here. Uh, is tomato and that's not a very common note in fragrances sometimes I hear about tomato leaf being uh, a note and I'm always interested because first of all I love eating tomatoes I love the scent of tomatoes it's like one of my favorite uh, fruits I think it's a fruit even though most people think it's a vegetable um, or maybe it's both I don't know but I also love the scent of tomato leaf because that has a very nice green Kind of herbally fuzzy kind of scent to it and when i'm smelling this i am getting something in here that is very very smooth and kind of fuzzy <laughs> this is gorgeous wow so for me it smells powdery there's a sweetness in here that's not candy like it smells like a natural smelling fruity sweetness but not overly sweet like a natural scent of fruits i'm thinking of like ripe uh, fruits in a fruit salad this is gorgeous very smooth i'm trying to think of tomato <laughs> and when I smell this I am getting this texture of a tomato leaf actually so fruit salad powdery earthy smooth fuzzy very elegant it smells expensive it really does I can't detect which florals are in here but it definitely has a floral sweetness in here but yeah it has this very nice delicate elegant feeling um, just like the uh, Trusardi Donna that one for me comes off very bright and shiny but also very elegant and smooth and I get the exact same feeling in here it, it has this beautiful sweetness that isn't typical it smells like a natural fruit sweetness along with a natural smelling floral sweetness a green earthiness in the base maybe some woodiness as well and a, a very soft musk that i'm picking up on now and the musk in here is very light very very um I don't know how to explain that. Airy. It's a very airy musk. Not heavy at all. Just kind of floating on top here of my skin. <laughs> and this this is really, really nice. I'm really curious now to see exactly what the notes are in here. I'll just read that out to you guys. So 
to floral fragrance. The perfumers are Julie Mass and Violaine Colas. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Then the notes in here, top notes are tomato, neroli, and Italian mandarin. Middle notes are lavender, jasmine, and dahlia. And the base notes are suede, violet, and patchouli. And it's gorgeous. It really, really is gorgeous. I really like this one. I'm surprised there aren't any musky notes in here because I do smell like a light, airy, fluffy musk in here. But yeah, it smells really nice. Very, very nice. And now I'm starting to smell more of the orange. Very nice. I like this. Okay, so those were my first impressions of Trusardi EDT, or sorry, EDP 2021 for women. Um, definitely would recommend you to try this because um, it smells amazing. It really, really does. And this Trusardi house. I have no idea why it's so underrated. Maybe because of availability. I'm not sure how easy it is to get in America, uh, but in Europe it's pretty easy to find also on discount web shops. And, um, and in any case, if you get a chance to try this, please do because I'm thinking of me like walking into a ballroom with like a big ball gown <laughs> wearing this kind of scent because it does have this very nice, elegant, sophisticated like princess ball kind of feeling <laughs> and it's gorgeous so thank you guys so much for tuning in if you have tried this perfume i would love to hear your opinion on it and um i'm going to continue bike riding um and i'll see you guys soon in the next video take care bye bye